Hello, my name is Sonnet, and a day before I was set to record this video, the news broke that Ken Page, the voice behind Oogie Boogie, as well as so many other iconic characters, had passed away on September 30th. Now, I did debate not releasing this video because of the recent passing of Ken Page, but I decided to go ahead and release it because the content that will be in this video is going to be nothing but love, admiration, and praise for Ken Page and his character, Oogie Boogie, and how important that character is in my life. Words cannot describe how much I love this man and how his roles on the stage have affected me as a lover of all things musical theater. So rest in peace to Ken Page, an icon, an incredibly skilled performer, and the heart and soul to one of my all-time favorite characters. With all that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. For the past few weeks, I have been making a ton of Oogie Boogie inspired projects. It is no surprise, Oogie Boogie is one of my all time favorite characters. He is my favorite Disney villain. I love him so much. I in fact have him tattooed on my skin forever. And it might sound silly, but the character of Oogie Boogie is a part of some of my most treasured memories. From listening to Disney soundtracks with my sister at home, to spooky Nightmare Before Christmas viewings around Halloween time and Christmas <laughs> to attending the Oogie Boogie Bash at Disney's California Adventure with my husband and my daughter. As you can see, I am a collector of all things Oogie and I love to crochet Oogie Boogie projects. So I have eight different Oogie Boogie crochet and crafting patterns that I want to talk about that I have created in the past couple of weeks, as well as a couple that I have created in the past crocheting journey of mine. So the first one I want to talk about is this little tiny Oogie Boogie. This is the Oogie Boogie crochet pattern by CM Art Design Shop. I got this one over on Etsy and this one really drew to me because of his adorable expression in the picture. So cute. Now I actually did struggle with this project quite a bit and I think the main reason is the eye type that I decided to give this one. I think if I decided just to use regular safety eyes it would have turned out better and I did struggle a little bit with this pattern. I'm not sure if I was just focused on other things or what was going on but I did struggle a little bit and he's cute. I like him but he's not my favorite but it's still Oogie and I still love him. I did make him in the green color because that's my favorite version of Oogie. I know he has also his like beige color as well, but green Oogie is where it's at for me. And he does have all of his little stitches and things. You're going to see on a number of these projects, I actually saved a bit of time by using a black Sharpie to create the stitches. Now this does not give a very perfect end result, so I don't recommend taking Sharpies to all your amigurumi, but when it comes to Oogie Boogie and the stitches, I don't think it needs to be perfect. In fact, the more kind of messy and grungy that it looks, the better, the more it suits the character. But yeah, there he is. There's our first little teeny Oogie Boogie. He's cute, I like him, but there's some other ones that I have made that I definitely prefer over this one. So the next Oogie Boogie I made, there's actually six of them. <laughs> and they're actually even smaller than the last one. So I made six of the No So Tiny Boogeyman pattern. This is a pattern by Dipped in Ink Crochet. And as mentioned, they are teeny tiny and they are No So patterns. So that's why I was able to make so many of them. I did make a bunch of them over the course of one stream over on Twitch. So yeah, they're really fun. They're really fast. After I had made a couple of them and I really understood that pattern, I worked these up so fast. And I did make a few different colors. So we have the green, of course. Then we have his more beige kind of color. I did also do a second beige, but this one I decided to use more of like brown eyes than black eyes. I made a second green one because I mean it's the iconic green Oogie. I also did make a glow in the dark version. So this one's kind of fun because it looks like Oogie Boogie but not at the same time because it's white. But again this is glow in the dark yarn by Lion Brand. So once he is glowing he'll definitely have that green Oogie Boogie look to him which is really fun. And then because I had these pink eyes, spoiler alert they're actually noses. Because I had these pink noses I decided to go ahead and make a pink one because I thought it'd be cute and who doesn't want a little pink Oogie Boogie. I love these. I will be making more of these. I did not turn these into keychains. I think I'm going to sell these at my upcoming market but in a claw machine so you can win one with a claw machine which I think is really fun 
or I might put them into like mystery boxes and you'll know when you purchase it that you're getting a little oogie boogie but you're not sure what color variation you'll get. Something along those lines is my plan for these little guys but they would make amazing keychains as well and they're just a really quick fun project to whip up if you are a fan of oogie boogie like i am i also did use a sharpie to create all of the little stitches and it works out perfect so i love that it was so so fast and saved me a bunch of time versus sewing on all of the stitches so the next two projects actually are not crochet, they are embroidery projects. I recently did get an embroidery machine and I have been going crazy embroidering things. And when I saw these two patterns for the embroidery machine, I knew I had to make them, especially because I knew I was making this video. So the first one is this adorable Oogie Boogie embroidered keychain. Now I did not turn this one into a keychain. This one is more of just a little plushy, but I do have a couple that I made that are keychain as well. This is an embroidery pattern by Mimi Sanrio and it's really fun. These embroider up super quick. You flip them inside out, you stuff them, you sew it closed, and you have this darling little oogie boogie plush. It's so fun. I did make a ton of these for my little claw machine as well and I will be displaying him along with other oogie boogie decor that I have so it's just a little a tiny fun plushie. Now next up is this Oogie Boogie Fob. This is from the designer String Theory Fabric Art. Now the String Theory Fabric Art website is full of so many amazing and cool and more pop culture themed embroidery patterns. So I definitely recommend you check those out if you are into embroidery with your embroidery machine. Now this I have not quite turned into a fob yet. I do need to add the snaps, but you can just see it's going to be this cute little keychain fob. You can add it to bags, backpacks, keys, whatever you want. And you know what I love so much about this one? Look how sassy he is. So cute. A sassy oogie. I'm all for it. So incredible. Love, love, love how sassy he is. Again, the stitches up super quick. It's super fun. And I absolutely love all of the designs by this embroidery designer. So I did make a couple of these for my craft market that I will be selling, but this one is going on my keychain because I need a little bit of Oogie Boogie with me at all times. Now the next pattern I wanna talk about, I actually made a couple of years ago and I no longer have that one because I did sell that one, but that is the Oogie Boogie pattern by Sweet Oddity Art. Now I did crochet that one in the glow in the dark yarn, just like this one, and he turned out super cute. I wish I had pictures of it, unfortunately I don't, but I did wanna include that pattern just because that is an Oogie Boogie I have made in the past and it is one that I really did enjoy making. Definitely check out this one. He turns out really cute and the pattern is great. So the last three Oogie Boogie projects that I want to talk about are my top three Oogie Boogie projects that I have ever made. Coming in at the number three spot is my most recent Oogie Boogie project. In fact, I just finished this one a couple of days ago, and that is the Baby Boogie Backpack. This is from the designer Making Things Naughty. I saw this on Etsy and I knew I had to make this just because one, it's Oogie Boogie, but also it's actually a backpack. So you open up his head, you can reach in there. It has a liner and everything, and they do walk you through how to put the liner in in the pattern, and it's way easier than you are expecting. It does have some straps on the back. Now, their pattern, they did also use a gray to make up like a striped pattern. I just wanted to keep him all green, so I did get rid of that gray stripe, but I still absolutely love him. I think it looks so cool on, and it actually fits so much better than I anticipated anticipated it fitting. I don't know. I saw this and I thought that it was going to be really fun and cute, but I thought it was going to be more of just like a novelty type of backpack and not very, I don't know, usable. But guess what? I would absolutely bring this maybe not to the parks unless you have very little things to carry, but I don't know, you're walking around and all you need is maybe your phones, your wallet, and your keys. You can absolutely carry all of that inside of Oogie here. I think he is usable as a backpack and it would be very 
easy to do. The bag inside also does have the drawstrings. So if you're worried about security, you can just close up those drawstrings. You could even tie them if you wanted that extra security. And then you will have a closed drawstring bag so everything stays safe. I thought this pattern was gonna take me ages to make. It worked up super fast. I think it's because you do use blanket yarn. It was super simple. The pattern is written incredibly and it's just so smart. It's so fun. I just had the best time. Now I will not be keeping this one and it makes me kind of sad because I really want to keep this one, but I think I'm gonna have to make myself an Oogie Boogie backpack here soon, especially because it does work up so fast. Yeah, coming in at the three spot, I loved making this backpack and I can't wait to make more patterns from this designer. Coming in at number two, I no longer have either, but I had to talk about this pattern because it's Oogie Boogie and it was incredible. And that is the Burlap Chap hood pattern by the Twisted Hatter. We all love Natalie over at the Twisted Hatter. Talking about an incredible creator. Wow, holy smokes, just the best. But this burlap chap hood I made a couple of years ago for Halloween. My daughter was going as Sally for Halloween and so naturally I was like, great, this is my chance to be Oogie Boogie. I loved making up this hood. It did take me quite a bit to crochet up. Not gonna lie, Twisted Hatter's patterns are not a crochet them in one day type of thing. They are very detailed, very intricate, but incredible and I had so much fun with this hood. I eventually did sell it at a craft market and the person that bought it loved it so much, which really makes it special to sell. Sometimes with projects like these, you don't wanna sell them because they're so special to you, but I could clearly tell this person absolutely loved this hood and they were so excited that they found it. So I had to include this one, which leads me to my number one Oogie Boogie project that I have ever made. I did crochet this one a couple years ago as well. It is also a pattern by the Twisted Hatter and it is without a doubt my favorite Ami Gurumi I probably have ever made. He is well loved, <laughs> but that is the Grubby Bubby. Once again, a pattern by the Twisted Hatter. Oh my gosh. I love him so much. He sits in my windowsill and I just, it's my favorite pattern I've ever made. I took him with me to Disneyland and we went to the Yogi Boogie Bash together. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. <laughs> just the design of this pattern. I mean, look at him. He is constructed so incredibly. I just, I love it. I love the detail and the shape that the Twisted Hatter gives to their patterns. They're just so wonderful. Something like this with this amount of detail and this amount of shape and character, just really, ugh, I love it so much. And so my little grubby bubby with his little heart, he's got his little bug because you know, it's Oogie Boogie. <laughs> I will never sell this one. He will be mine forever. I will treasure him forever. And that's all I have to say about that. I just love him so much. So there we have it. There are all the Oogie Boogie projects that I have made. Now there's a ton of Oogie patterns out there. If you've ever created an Oogie Boogie, please let me know down in the comments. Describe the pattern. Tell me all about him. Who is your favorite Disney villain? And if I were to do another one of these very character focused pattern videos, which character do you want to see next? But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so much much. You are so wonderful. Once again, rest in peace to Ken Page, just an icon in my eyes. And I will see you all a little later. Bye everybody.